Eagle 243 rear kitchen couples coach just came in on trade here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. I'm going to call this one a time capsule because you look at it on the outside, um, you're going to see a couple uh, little dings and things here and there. Um, it's uh, previous, or well, I guess the folks who were just the previous owners, they're not the original owners. They um, had it for eight years though, so they had it for a long time and had a lot of investment put into it. And uh, you know, you'll see regular use on the outside. You'll see areas where they went through and they uh, had done some resealing, which is good because after this age, the original factory seals would obviously need to be addressed. And they did all that. All the maintenance you could ask someone to do has been done. But you step inside and you're gonna see this in just a minute here. And it looks like you're just crossing into a time capsule. It is, it's like it's been preserved on the interior. They did such a nice job taking care of it inside. Um, I do like how they do have a, uh, you see that vent cover up on the ceiling there, or on the roof as it were. If I, ceiling on the inside, roof on the outside. Um, it allows you, especially since this is rear kitchen where you're cooking, to exhaust that heat so you're not cooking yourself while you're cooking your food, you know. A little chilly this morning, so pardon the gloves as I cook through. Speaking of cooking, <laughs> see what I did there. Uh, bigger entry handle they'd put on also just for you know easier come easier go but like I said the moment you step inside it is so clean it is not even funny everything is way better than you could ever hope to have an 01 you know um, most of your fabrics are in, in pretty good shape here the sofa has been used a little bit more and you are seeing some signs where that has begun to fray a bit over there remember though I do call a spade a spade and I do tell you the truth about the things I see. I've been through this uh, trailer three times and I figured, okay, there has to be something I'm missing. There has to be that, uh, that hole in the wall, that ding in the cabinet, that leak in the roof somewhere. And I can't find it. And I'm pretty good at looking. I'm not telling you I'm the best. But, you know, when, it's, when it starts to, uh, time to play uh, CSI for campers, I'm pretty darn good. I've got a lot of experience at this. I'm pushing 2,000 of these video tours now, not to mention all the trailers I saw before I began recording these tours. So uh, I, I'm very experienced at going through used RVs and having an idea and a feel for the usage of it. And I can't really detect anything wrong with this one. I mean, I back up here, you say your woodwork is clean, your roof is clean, the AC they kept that clean. I see a lot of people just let that collect dust and dirt. They, they changed the filter on that. They did everything they were supposed to do. All those things that people are supposed to do, but eh, we'll let it go one more year and then it never gets done. They did all of that. Uh, you, you really couldn't ask for one to be in better shape. And just because of the year, um, this is going to be very affordable. The year alone is going to keep the price tag down in the basement, where uh, if this is your first time RVing, or if you're just looking for something for casual use, this would be a great option. Classic design here, it's also very space efficient, it keeps the RV much shorter and lighter, is the um, uh, lower deck bathroom. This has a bathroom on the lower deck of the fifth wheel, which means an extra tall ceiling, very good for big tall folks like me. One of the things I do like about it here is this extra coat closet, kind of in the, I guess you call it the hallway area. That could also be used as a linen cabinet right across from the bathroom. And very classic, um, just a gooseneck style bedroom where you just hop upstairs and bang, you're in bed. Yes, the ceiling is a little bit lower in here. That's also why the trailer is lighter and less money. There's less physical construction. I do like those outlets up in the headboard though. That's a nice touch. And you can get around the bed pretty easily. There is room. That's it, short and sweet. Uh, that's about all there is to it. Uh, 800-256-5196. Hale at RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.